Good Friday. Good Friday is the most somber day of the year, the day we committed deicide, or the killing of God. It is a good day to practice as much silence as we can for our state in life. Instead of using the internet, follow the events of Jesus' passion by remembering what happened at each moment of the day, especially his death at three o'clock in the afternoon. This is also the start of the Divine Mercy Novena. Each day we pray for a different intention. The Novena ends on the second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. A link about the Divine Mercy Novena and how to pray the Novena is in the notes of this video. It's well worth studying if you are not familiar with St. Faustina and the many messages that Jesus gave her during her life. What is Divine Mercy? Mercy is having compassion on someone and doing what we can for him, even if he has done nothing to deserve or earn it. God's mercy is a vast ocean compared to us and all of our sins. Our greatest sins are mere drops of water. When we give Jesus our droplets of sin, however big or small, he throws them in the ocean of his mercy where they disappear completely. Praying the Chaplet of Mercy is easy and short. All you need is a rosary and to learn the prayers. Think about Jesus' passion and death while you pray it. It takes five minutes, and you can look at the link to see how to pray it online. It is also a very good day to pray the Stations of the Cross. Read the Office of the Readings, pray the Liturgy of the Hours, and reflect on the Gospel of the Day. This pandemic and all the suffering it is causing physically, emotionally, and financially are ways we can suffer with Jesus who gave his all for us. Let him use your sufferings for the salvation of the world.